This is Hart with Earth and Spirit Center, and I'm here with... I'm Zoe. I'm an intern here. <laughs> I'm Lena. I'm an intern here, too. And we're here to talk a little bit about groundwater. You know, we have a stream that, that that's... The, okay, water is coming down the stream. How can it do that? Where does it come from? It comes from the ground. And, you know, forests and... A, a good ecologically diverse forest can really absorb a lot of the water so that it becomes groundwater. Another thing that helps with groundwater is if you have a rain garden or a rain barrel so that all the water is not rush, rush, rushing into the stream. So Zoe and Lena are going to talk a little bit more about how groundwater works. Yeah, so this uh, area is groundwater <laughs> discharge. You can see towards the top there's a really dry spot so it doesn't look like it's a normal stream. It is kind of seeping out through the groundwater and um, groundwater discharge is just filling all that water back into the water system. It's really nice because when water goes into um, under the ground, it gets filtered through the limestone that we have under the surface in Kentucky, and it cleans up that water to be ready to be discharged back into the ecosystem. Uh, you can see that this small stream here will connect to this stream here behind us, and this stream actually feeds into it as part of the Beargrass Creek that is located back here. And since uh, the Beargrass Creek goes back through this way and this stream comes down here, we can tell that it's a groundwater and it's coming out of the ground and that it is going through that filtration system, going through the limestone bedrock, uh, giving certain nutrients back to the soil and helping um, organisms with roots deep in the soil get their water supply.